Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate, and welcome back to a new video. So I'm here back inside Roblox Studio, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own map picker. So let's get into the video. So the first thing you need is inside Workspace, add in a normal script. Then we can rename this script to Map Picker, or anything like that. Oops. There we go. And then inside the script, hover over it, click plus. And there should be a window open. You probably can't see on the recording, but there should be a window. And then add in a number value. If you add it in, we can rename it to round time. So this is going to be how long each round is. So just for the video, I'm going to be doing five seconds. And then once again, we could just duplicate this um, number value. And then we can rename it to intermission time. This is how long the um, intermission before each game is. So once again, I'm just going to leave that as five seconds. Once again, sorry for video quality is a bit fuzzy. Hopefully it's not too bad. And then that's all you need for the, for the script. The next thing we need to do is actually build our maps. Okay, so here's my first map. We can just select it, group, and then we can name this to whatever you want. Let's name it to uh, grass map or something like that. And then what we can do is actually make a folder inside of lighting folder. So click it, click for plus, and then add in a folder. And then rename this folder to maps. And then once you have your first map, just drag that inside the maps folder, like that. And then what I'm going to do is just duplicate it, drag it inside workspace, and then we can start customising it to be a different map. Here we go, this can be my second map. Drag them inside the model. And then we can rename it. So, desert map. Once again, just drag inside the maps folder. And then let's just quickly make one more. Here we go, here's our last map. Once again, we can rename it. And then drag it inside the maps folder. And then the last thing we do is actually start scripting. So inside the main script is to remove this print hello world. So let's do local maps folder equals to game dot lighting dot maps. If we go down and do local maps equals to maps folder and then colon get children. Go down and do local round time equals to script dot round time. Go down local intermission time equals to script dot intermission time and the last one we need to do is local message equals to instance dot new two brackets speech marks then let's make it a hint if you don't know what a hint is then it's like a GUI at the top of the screen and that GUI is going to be displaying what a map is so then we can go down you don't have to make this message, this is just so we know what map it is. And then we do while true do. Go down, a new end should appear. And then we do local chosen map equals to maps square bracket. And then we could do math dot random. And then in between these brackets, we could do one, comma, hashtag, and then we could do maps. So this picks one map out of all the maps we have in our game. We can go down and do local map clone equals to chosen map colon clone two brackets. And then we can go down, do wait two brackets. But then in between these brackets, we could do intermission time dot value like that. And now what we can do is message dot parent equals to game dot workspace or if you want you can just um, do uh, workspace like that then message dot text equals to and then we could do speech marks map chosen colon and then space and then we could do dot dot chosen map dot name like that so this is going to display on the um, on the hint or the message. This is going to display the name of the map, what's been picked. 
And then what we can do is wait five seconds this time, go down and do message dot parent equals to game dot lighting. And then we can do map clone dot parent equals to game dot workspace. Then map clone make joints then two brackets then the last thing we need to do is wait brackets round time dot value and then what we do is map clone destroy and then two brackets so we close it off click play and then once we load in you can see map chosen and it says desert map and then we map will load in it will wait a few seconds and then once it disappears it will wait another few seconds and then map chosen snow map and then it loads in the snow map okay and guys this is going to be it for today's video if this video helps make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe down below in the description you can check out my Roblox group and discord server and i'll see you later bye